friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another WW vegetarian recipe. Now this one I did a little tweaking. I We ended up having chicken with ours, so ours inevitably ended up not being vegetarian, but I show you how to prepare the meat of the recipe as a vegetarian dish. In fact, I show you at the end the meal without the chicken since we are gearing this towards our vegetarian friends out there. And let me just tell you how delicious this recipe was. It was creamy, it was bright and sunny with that lemon, it was absolutely delicious. So if you wanna see what I have in store for you for another vegetarian series recipe, just stay tuned. For tonight's vegetarian meal, we are gonna be making lemon ricotta pasta. I'm also going to show you chicken. I wanna show you that you can add some chicken to the meal if you aren't vegetarian, but if you wanna make this absolutely outstanding pasta. So let me show you what's in our pasta and then I'll show you what I'm going to season my chicken with as an alternative. So for the pasta, you're going to need either some avocado oil or olive oil, whatever you prefer, some low fat ricotta cheese, of course, some salt and pepper, some pasta. I'm going to be using the fiber gourmet light spaghetti pasta. I love the fiber gourmet pasta. If you follow my channel, you know, I am obsessed. If you're new, you guys, this is the pasta. This is the pasta to use. You can have two ounces dry. So that's a lot of cooked pasta for only three smart points. And to compare that to traditional pasta, it is anywhere from five to six smart points. So half the smart points, but more flavor. It has better texture. It does not get soggy. Seriously, the best pasta. And even a better news, it has 19 grams of fiber and eight grams of protein. You can't beat it. You can order this off of the Nutrition website. There's a link down below in the description box. Make sure you check out the website. They have tons and tons of WW products. So go do a little exploring, find some great WW products. But while you're there, definitely pick up the fiber gourmet pasta. You're also going to need some Parmesan cheese, red pepper flakes, a lemon, and some fresh basil. Now for my chicken, I'm simply going to season my chicken to go with my pasta with the Dax Lemon Pep. Now you guys, this is another must have on WW. Dax seasonings are all natural, no MSG, nothing added other than whole real ingredients and the best part, zero salt. So if you're someone who watches your salt or you have to weigh in the next day, highly recommend Dax. Let me show you what's in this particular one. So you've got spices, lemon peel, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion. Four very simple whole ingredients. They have over 20 spices. Everyone is absolutely amazing. I'm obsessed with the pumpkin pie, the green zest, the original red. I mean, you can't go wrong. So definitely head over to Dax. Use my code here on the screen to save 10% and get free shipping. You can't beat it and you're going to save yourself some salt and some bloat. So definitely check out Dax. So I'll be seasoning my chicken with that. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and chop up just a rough, rough chop on our basil. We are going to zest our lemon and juice our lemon, and then we'll be ready to get started on our pasta. So I'm gonna get my pasta started so that it's ready to go. So what I have here is my fiber gourmet pasta. I've got my salted water coming to a boil. I'll get the pasta cooked down and a trick with that is drain it in your strainer, rinse it with some cold water and it prevents it from sticking together. And then you can allow it to sit for a few minutes while you cook up the rest of your meal. So now we'll get started cooking down our chicken. While everything's cooking, we're gonna put together the base of the sauce for our pasta. So in my bowl here, I'm gonna add some basil. Now the original recipe only wants you to top the pasta with basil, but I'm gonna add a little bit to the mix because we love it. We love it so much. So I added a little bit of basil, one half of a cup of Parmesan cheese, some salt and pepper. And again, this is gonna be to your liking, however much you prefer in your dish. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of avocado or olive oil, whatever it is that you're using. 
And lastly, we're going to add both our lemon juice, and I juice my entire lemon, and our lemon zest from zesting the entire large lemon. And that's what's going to give it that really fresh lemony taste. So I'm gonna give this a stir, and then to this, we're going to add our ricotta cheese. But to do that, we need a little bit of the reserved water from our pasta. So as soon as our pasta gets done cooking, we'll finish the sauce for our pasta dish. By the way, I did also add just a couple of red chili pepper flakes, so sorry about that. I missed that when we were putting the rest of this together. So there's our sauce with the red pepper flakes. So our pasta is cooking. It's coming along nicely. We are going to want to cook this about al dente because it will continue to cook after we even rinse it with the water. And then our chicken looks amazing with that Dax lemon pepper seasoning. So we're going to let this continue to cook our water continue to boil, and then we'll finish preparing the sauce. So I have my reserved pasta water here. So I have one cup of my low fat ricotta. So I'm gonna add that here to that mix that we made just a couple minutes ago. And then we are going to use the reserved pasta water to thin this out into a sauce because this is what we're gonna mix with our pasta. Now I'm gonna be having chicken as well, so I'm gonna be adding some chicken in, but if you wanna go strictly vegetarian, you would just mix this in with your pasta and that would be your dinner. And either way, it would be absolutely, positively delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in just a little more pasta water here to get this to the right consistency and then we'll be ready to combine all of our ingredients. So we're ready to assemble our pasta. So I went ahead and drained and rinsed my spaghetti. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chicken. Now, if you were going strictly vegetarian, you would minus the chicken and add in our sauce. Look at how good this looks. So we're gonna go ahead and add all of that deliciousness in to our noodles and then give it a quick mix. It smells really good, fresh and lemony. And that is our lemon and ricotta pasta. So I'll go ahead and get this plated up and I'll be back to give you the smart points. So here is our vegetarian dinner. So I did not add my chicken to it to show you exactly what it would look like if you prepared it as vegetarian. So this is one fifth of the pasta. So we wanted to make sure that we got five servings out of the pot. And one fifth of the pasta is six smart points. So this entire dinner is only six points. Thank you for joining me on another video in my WW Vegetarian series. I know you guys are absolutely loving this series and it's been really fun for me to do and see if I can enjoy food without meat. And so far, so good. I have to say that my favorite so far have been my vegetarian lasagna. That was amazing. That recipe is down in my videos. And also this one was pretty darn outstanding as well. All of them have been good. Oh, the broccoli cheddar pot pie, they're all been, they've all been really good. So just scroll down through my videos and you'll see all of my vegetarian videos with all of my vegetarian recipes. You can't go wrong, you guys. Such good meals. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. Make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell. That way you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this recipe and let me know if you're loving this series because if you guys like this, I will continue to bring you vegetarian recipes. And again, you guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.